What's going on guys? So was in the block back again in the garage with the 1950 Dodge and we are working on extending our tail lamp metal to meet the tail light housing. So as you can see the tail light um, bucket is missing. It's in place on this side. And you can see this side's pretty straight. Uh, this is the side of the vehicle that was have been smashed in. So I had to reform the outside portion for the bucket and we'll weld the bucket back in here momentarily. But before we do that, I'll start here on the good side, show you what we're working with. So with the light installed in self-right position, there's a gap down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go and extend it, extend the metal up to close that in. And over on this side, we've got the same thing with the light in place. There's a gap on the bottom. So what I did is I got part of an old patch panel and I went ahead and cut it out using... This little handy tool right here uses Aris and Nibbler, and um, I've got videos on this, so that's what I use. It basically just takes that little pneumatic cutting knob right there, oscillates back and forth, cuts right through the metal, and you can see you get a nice clean cut, even down to small pieces. So I cut that, hand formed it a little bit, to where we're pretty close to meeting the contour of the metal. What I'm getting ready to do is trim off the excess, and then I'll go and tack weld it along here. And then after it's tack welded in, we'll trim it or cut some relief cuts in the top because we're going to have to fold it over to kind of close in this gap. Um, I guess originally this was just a straight piece of metal like this. I'm not 100% sure. That's what it looks like on this side, which is unmolested. It's a straight piece of metal that kind of runs around here. So, yeah, I don't know. It was just right to the, the housing, but... The other side was so mangled, I'm just going to extend both to close up the gap because <clears throat> by the time we get to our finished work, we don't want to have a gap between the tw tail light, trim bezel, and the body of the car. So that's the plan. Sorry, I got batteries and stuff all, all in the way. So I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and we're going to go ahead and do some tack welding grinding and get this ready to install. And then once we've got that installed, we will weld it up. And then I'm going to weld up here. I ended up going in and cutting this fender to pull this metal out and also to move the fender in because the gap here was too wide. So compress that gap pretty good. It's not bolted up as you can see on the inside. So that tells you that the metal is about as good as it's going to get. There's a little bit of a gap up here, which you may do another cut and do some stretching or squeezing on. See if we can get rid of that gap there. Uh, ultimately this is going to be welded to the body of the car. So just getting it closer before we do our welding less welding less filler all that kind of stuff all right i'm gonna quit yakking i'll grab the tripod and we'll get moving Alright, as I'm using this file to finish up the sanding of the fiberglass of the Dodge, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. So finishing out the rough end of the tail light. In the next video, we're going to work on working the rest of the fenders into the body. My name's Erwin. This is Three Wheels in a Block, where we're giving back what time has taken away. We'll see you soon.
Thank you.